next episode. We're going to go over the alternative for the alternative. WG3526P, 48-volt PoE built-in, mounted on your desk, your roof, your RV. So let's go over our parts list. Starting with the USB 3.0 LTE fix enclosure. I've already taken it out of the metal housing. Next up, we have our WG3526P with our 48 volt gigabit PoE injector. Next, we have a total of eight PCB mounts, four of which are low profile. We need a few feet of CAT7. We're gonna grab our LTE fix medium outdoor enclosure. It comes su supplied with an RJ45 cable gland. And we're gonna get extra fancy now just in case you want to swap your SIM card out after you've already closed up your enclosure and mounted it. This is our outdoor SIM card tray. Then this is going to be a temporary setup. So we're going to be using four short N-type LTE antennas. Then of course you also need your uh, N-type to MHF4. And then finally we have our CAT16 4x4 modem. Disassembling this unit is super simple. You have three Phillips screws. Once those three screws are off, you're gonna open your unit just like you would a book. So now that you've got the top lid open, you wanna hold it at a 90 degree angle so that we can have access to remove these four screws and that's gonna free up our router board. So now we have those four screws off. You wanna remove your board. And now we have access to the underside where we can see the SIM tray. So now what we're left is four SMA connectors. So once those four SMA screws are out, you now have your complete board. Now that we have the board out, we can see our mini PCIe, our USB 3.0, four LANs, and this is gonna serve as our PoE. 48 volt PoE right here. So starting with the LTE fix enclosure apart and our outdoor SIM card tray, which we're gonna stuff right there. So we're gonna totally ignore those four antenna markings. So now after being covered in plastic, we now have our perfectly sized SIM card tray. Now, once you fish it through, comes with a nice little fancy rubber shield. And of course, we want the arrow pointing down. I went with a center punch and I made four markings where I'm gonna put the four N-type pigtails. Now, once you sweep up all the plastic, this is what we're left with. So here you have your cable gland. You get one washer. Then your top nut. Now I like to leave this separated. This, these three pieces, I like to keep them separate until you're ready to install your LAN cable. Now you don't have to go strong arm on this. And you want this puppy to face. Now you have it. 
good to go.